Hello and welcome to the HU Bison Abroad video about the course approval process. When you have identified the program that you think will work for you and you have made a list of the Howard classes that you still need in order to graduate and you've identified about five or six of them that you are interested in taking abroad, you would go over to our website, global.howard.edu, and navigate to our course approval page. And once you get here, you'll find the new course approval form download option. When you click on this button, it'll open in a brand new tab. And this form, it's really best that you actually download it to your computer and open it in Adobe Acrobat and work on, save a copy there and work on it in, in your Adobe Acrobat. It gives you a lot more functionality than trying to fill it in here on this um, embedded page. So this new form has a brand new section called the pre-approved course page. This is a new addition. Our old forms will no longer be accepted. Uh, this pre-approved course page has an area here where students can enter in the information for classes that have been previously approved. So where do you find those classes? Back over here on our course approval information page, if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll find a course finder database. Now this database is searchable. You can locate classes by country and see all of the classes that have been previously approved for a particular country. You can search by your major. and see what classes have been previously approved. So you've got the location, the provider, the, um, the city that the class uh, program was held in, the year it was approved, the semester that that class got approved on, and then you also have the matching Howard class, course number and number of credits. And so that information, if you were to locate a program that you think works for you and you find one, two, three, maybe six classes in this database, you would capture that information here. Now, you must have at minimum 12 credits, Howard credits, that's what will actually go on your transcript the Howard credits and the Howard class title, not the classes that you have taken abroad. So it's very important that you are paying attention to the number of credits of the Howard matches that you are entering here. If you are finding 15 Howard credits worth of classes, you could move forward and have your academic advisor look over that form, look over the classes that you have selected, and you know, yay or nay, perhaps there are um, prerequisites that you need and you can't take a particular class, or you have done something out of order, and so meeting with your academic advisor, super important in order for you to make sure that those classes that you have selected will work for you. So they would look over everything, sign here, or send you back to the drawing board, and then you would be able to submit this form. No need to go and obtain new signatures. That is, however, if you are able to find enough to maintain your full-time student status. The more classes that you can enter in here, the better, because that would allow for you to um, you know, choose another class in case something was not available once you got um, on site. But you do need to make sure that whatever classes that you're putting here, they're all in the same program. Obviously, a class that's you know, in CIEE Brazil um, is not going to work for you if you're in you know, CIEE Japan, right? Um, so just making sure that you're paying very close attention and that everything is on program. You've gone to 
the website to make sure that you know these classes are actually going to be offered in the semester that you are planning to go. So everything needs to line up. We have um, provided some additional information and instructions for you here. Um, but that is a way that you can capture those classes that you're planning to take abroad, match them to your Howard class, and submit your course approval form. Now, if you go to the database and you find only one class or no classes, anything that's short of a full semester, you will need to go ahead and, as years pass, get those courses approved by Howard faculty member who teaches it or department chair that that class falls under. And so how you go about doing that is that, let's take for example, this um, Paris IES program here. You would go down to their course list. Now this particular program partners with the Paris School of Business. So if you were a business major, you would be visiting their website to see what business classes they have available for you because you need to take your business classes at the uh, institution that's AACSB or Equus accredited. So you could find your business classes there and then maybe you want to take a history class or something. So we have pulled up history to see what they have available here. So we've got a history of France, keys to understanding the nation. If we click on this, we'll be able to see the number of credits, the number of contact hours, and the description. So all of the information, the title of the class, the course number, all of the information is right here. And so you would enter that information into overseas course title, course number, number of credits, contact hours, and then where do you find the Howard equivalent? So for that, you would go over to our catalog. So I've already pulled up here our history department to see what they have available, and I'm just gonna scan through to see if anything might be a good match. Now, we're not gonna have a Paris history class, but aha, uh -huh, we have an introduction to European history class, and we have a topics in European history class. So you could choose one of those enter that information in here, and you would do that for every class that you are finding that you would like to take abroad. It must have a faculty member who teaches that class, approval, or a department chair. Once you have all of that filled in for every class that you are planning to take, so you would be emailing your professors or the faculty who you are seeking to get an approval from. You would be emailing this form that you've already filled out with the suggested class matches. You would email them your course description or if a syllabus is available, and you would request that they review and approve. Now the faculty may say, this class isn't a good match, try this other one. They may say, this isn't in my department, speak to so-and-so whose department that this is in. Um, so you, you know, it may be um, you know, not so straightforward. Um, if you start on this early, you will be able to accomplish or see you know, that there may be another program that works better for you because you're not able to find all of the classes that you need. This last page here is for uh, those classes that um, are intensive classes. So typically these are language classes, but they don't necessarily always end up that way. But you may see the number of contact hours is like a 90 contact hours. So in that case, because our three credit classes are 45 contact hours, you may be able to have that one class abroad count for two Howard classes. So again, you would enter in that overseas course information, and then let's say it was you know, um, a French class that was meeting for 90 contact hours, and the next two levels of the French that's required for you is French one, and, or sorry, French two and French three, then your, the French department may review that content and say, yes, we will give you credit for um, Howard French two and Howard French three, or maybe it's French four and oral expressions or textual analysis or something like that. So this last page you would skip if that, if you have not found a class that's exceeding 90 contact hours, you would not fill this in. And you would just move forward with having your academic advisor to review all of the classes that you have selected. So you may have a mix 
of previously approved classes and newly approved classes or you could have found all of the classes that you need offered in the semester that you are planning to take them already in our database and you've just completed this portion here or maybe you found no classes in our database and you have completed just this portion down here either way you slice it you must have a bare minimum of um, 15 uh, approved credits, the equivalent of 15 approved uh, Howard credits, um, in order to have this form completed. Now, once you have this form completed, you would upload it to our study abroad application, which can be found here. And so the hyperlink to our application is here. You'll get to a part in the application and it will ask you to upload your course approval form. So uploading a form that is incomplete will only slow you down. Only upload a form that is complete so that your application can be processed. We can say, oh, this is not you know, in order or this looks good to go. And then you will be able to be approved on your provider program. So submitting the Howard application is just the first step. Once you get the green light that all of your courses are in order, then you can move forward with applying for the program provider's application. So you don't want to sort of do that first and then you've paid an application fee and then you find out that you can't get all of your courses to approve. So that is the overview of the course approval process. Again, you are matching your Howard classes to the courses that you are planning to take abroad. You'll find the information here on our website where you can download the course approval form and go ahead and start filling that in and identifying the faculty members who would need to provide those approvals for you. Do understand if you have a class that you end up enrolling in once you go abroad that's not on your course approval form, your original course approval form, you do need to just download that again and capture those new signatures. The sooner you can do that, the better, so that when your transcript comes in, um, it cannot be processed unless it has all of the course approvals in place and in your file. So if you're finding that you're needing to take new classes, you do need to make sure that you're submitting those in a timely fashion so that it doesn't hold up your scholarship processing and other financial aid things. Um, if you have questions, by feel free to book an advising appointment or join our weekly advising sessions. Thank you.